Hello, goodies, goodies, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I will be showing you how to connect your name cheap domain to your Builder All website. Um, you can also do the same with your blog. Um, now, they have many tutorials, videos showing you how to connect your domain. Right now, I'm on a drag and drop site builder. Okay, and click on this tab right here. And you will see down here, I'm on the sixth page. Okay. And they show you how to connect your own domain. And all you do is simply just right click or just click on it. But the thing is, they show you how to do it with GoDaddy, which is great. So those of you looking to connect with GoDaddy, do it that way. Now I'm going to show you with how to do it with Namecheap. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So those of you out there who have Namecheap. So it's really simple. So all I will simply do is... Uh, Go to more options and oh, I'm gonna hit connect domain. Okay, hit connect domain. All right, and you read everything right here. And what I'm going to do is copy this right here. All right, copy this. So these are the two name servers. So your your website might have a different name server. So read all everything through fo follow up. Make sure everything's correct. Make sure you copy and paste the right ones as well. So we're going to copy this first one, and I'm going to go to my dashboard. You know, I'm in my dashboard. Now I'm going to pick a domain that I want. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this one. Click manage. All right. So I'm going to use this one, and what we're going to where it says name service so we're going to put custom DNS so that's what we change so the first one that we copy right here this is where we're going to put this alright I'm going to copy paste that there band right there oh no that ain't it let me go back over here make sure I copied it alright copy alright Paste. There we go. That's the first one. Now we're gonna go to the second one. Make sure we get it. Second one. Copy. Go back here. Put it here. Paste. And then simply just click the check mark. And save it. And wait and give that time. Say it could take up to 48 hours, but usually take maybe a half hour. But that's the longest it'll take. So after that, um, it should should be good. Once we got that saved over here, what we do is all we simply will do is the domain that we will be using, we put that right there, and then we're gonna come down here and save it. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna copy this. Alright. And I'm gonna paste that right here. Okay, now and I simply would do is just save it. And I got a process. So change successfully. Alright. Now I'm gonna click this. It may not be ready yet, because like I said, it may take a little moment. Um you know, say so can't be reached, but usually, like I said, maybe 10 to 30 minutes, and that's pretty much it. You got to give it time. So that's how you do that, folks.